So this week we're talking about pulling with our 2020 Chevy 3500 HD. For the very first time. Here we go. So we stayed at a really beautiful resort up in uh, Dandridge, Tennessee called Anchor Down. It was beautiful. Um, we explored Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Dollywood. Dollywood was incredible. Incredible. If you've never done Dollywood at Christmas, totally recommend it. Absolutely. It was, it was fantastic. So some of the thoughts on pulling with the, the new truck. So a lot better fuel mileage. So right now we're averaging around 11.1 .1 miles per gallon. So with the forward pull in this same camper, we were getting around seven miles per gallon. Um, so it's a little better. Uh, we are going through some pretty good hills right now, so it's fluctuating a fair amount. But um, I'd say that's a safe average for the time we've been hooked up. Now, I did hook up to the trailer this morning, and left the truck running for a little bit to get everything warm. So uh, that may affect it, but I'd say that's a safe average. Could it be better? Sure, you could get a smaller camper, you could take less stuff, you could uh, go less healy routes, go flatter, but um, I'm fine with that to get us where we want to go and take all we want to with us. So. The comfort level on this truck is light years ahead yeah. of where we're at. So. I mean, but we were going from a 2006 F250 yeah. to the 2020, just a few years. Yeah, there's different. a couple things different, and we've done a little bit to make this fit us a little better. And right. We put a fuel system on here that allows us to stop when we want to stop, when it's convenient for us, not necessarily when the truck needs fuel. So we did add that 40 extra gallons of fuel. That's with the Transflow system up here, and it, I have it in the bed of the truck. We can make it about 700 to 1,000 miles. We haven't really pushed this one yet, but pulling the camper. So that gets us a pretty good opportunity to pick out a good, safe spot that we can get a camper in and out. A lot of times with a rig this long, you have trouble getting in and out of like small, gas stations like a mom and pops kind of thing so we find it more convenient to stop at like truck stops and the ones that we feel are safe well we didn't have to stop for fuel uh for our diesel tank but we did for our tummies and everybody had to go to the bathroom so one of the good things about RVing right now in the world the way that it is a lot of restrooms are closed a lot of restaurant um dining rooms are closed so we were able to run through um a drive-through grab some lunch, and then run back here and eat it in our camper and use our bathroom. So, you know, it's one of those things that right now it's really nice to have your home with you when you travel. So with the 2020 Duramax, you have plenty of power. Oftentimes when you're traveling down the road, you're gonna need to get around some random things, like maybe a house. It's nice to have the available power to get around whatever you want to and to get on down the road. Not only the power is nice, but with the new truck, we have an exhaust brake. So when we're coming down a large hill, we're able to set the exhaust brake and it holds us back with the motor and allows us to maintain a constant safe speed. So whenever we change lanes, I hit the turn signal and in the end screen up front, it shows a camera view of down the side of your truck or whatever you're towing, so the truck and the trailer. So we'll leave a link below, but if I would have done that in my Ford when we were coming back from Disney, we would have seen very clearly that I was hitting a pole. Now, hopefully I'll be able to steer clear of all poles and everything around us, but it's quite helpful when you're switching lanes around trucks and cars to make sure just an extra insight that no one's there. We're getting ready to go down a pretty big hill. We call it Saluda Gap or Saluda Mountain. Uh, coming up to it, our brakes showed that they weren't working on the camper. So I went back and checked our pin, got everything. I guess it just come loose. Um, but I put my plug in and then I also take a piece of Velcro around it so it secures everything. Um, just want to make sure you got brakes and everything's working good before you go down a big hill. So I reach down and make sure I touch my brake controller, make sure they are in fact working, make sure my lights are working, and then we'll head out just so we're safe. So we're about to take off down and out. This truck is awesome. Now, do you think that um, the front of the camper will stay cleaner? So, <laughs> I hope because we're going to be throwing less rock chips for now. Less rock chips or less coal? Less, oh, well, all right. <laughs> so there's rolling coal. Yeah, and then there's rolling coal. 
we we uh, we saw it this weekend. We saw a big difference in that. But no, that was a problem we had with my Ford. Um, it would blow smoke all down the side of the camper. Right. Actually, when we got here, our camper was dirty <laughs> from all the smoke from my old truck. Well, you know what we said when we were down in uh, in Disney World? We looked like the rednecks coming up in here, and we sure did, man. This yep. thing was so dirty because y'all know we just built the the cover for the camper. Um, but yeah, it was very very dirty when we got here. We actually washed it here, which is apparently against the rules. We didn't read the rules. We just we just didn't. We're not rule followers. So anyway, we had to wash this bad boy so we didn't kick, get kicked out of the campground. Because yeah. <laughs> campers have to be clean and in good repair. Uh, so Lenny, how about that metal on the other side, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> How's that working out? <laughs> Our repair. Yeah. So anyway, um, all right. So coming up hills, we were just blowing right by Absolutely. other campers. No problem at all. Yeah, no problems there. And what does our camper weigh? Um, empty around eight thousand pounds. Okay. And we do we did carry it empty this time. Yes. My truck before it was tuned. Yeah. It was a little hot, um, so under a heavy load, the EGTs, the exhaust gas temperature, would get quite high if you're trying to pull up a big mountain with right. a large load under it. Didn't have any of that problems this time because we don't have any tuning done to it, and this <laughs> truck just runs beautifully. Yeah. So great engine temperature, great pulling. Um, Transmission stayed cool, which is normal for us. Right. Um, Even pulling some really big hills. What yeah. were the grades we were pulling? Uh, we got up to nine percent at one point. Nine percent. So great. that was kind of cool. Yeah. So guys, we did actually have the camper winterize before we left because it was getting cold back at home. We had to unwinterize it, and when we get back, we're gonna have to re-winter. Re-winterize. Re <laughs> re-winterize it when we get back home. So we'll do that. Uh, we have a little bit of a situation with our toilet. Um, when we were out west two summers ago, we replaced with a what is it, Dometic? 3200 it's the ceramic toilet 320. or 320 yeah it's their ceramic toilet with so, the sprayer so the toilet is great but what happened this time so it's not holding water so during the winter time i didn't store it with water in the bowl so the seal that's in the bottom over the flush valve it's dried up so okay. i'm gonna have to change that so we'll do a video on that whenever we do change that out just in case you guys ever have an issue with it uh, looks like it's a super easy install so won't be yeah. a big deal hopefully but hopefully we should it drains that. out every time you put water in it right okay so we got to get packed up it's been warm it's been in the 60s and now they're calling for snow in just a little bit so we are trying to pack up and get out of here not that we wouldn't want to see the snow but we have to get back home that's right time to work yeah get back to work all right guys i think that's about to cover it so uh We'll see y'all next week on a new adventure. Bye. Bye, guys.